Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, we bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Yes! Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you. We thank God. He is a good God. Is awesome. There is nobody like our God. Nobody. Nobody. Amen. Amen. No, if it no, had no. not been for the Lord God. who has been on our side, yeah. amen, yeah. we can really literally say where would we be and we know we wouldn't be here if God yes. would not be on our side. And we don't mean in this place. We mean being here in the land of the living, yeah. amen, to do the will of God. And so we are grateful and, amen, we're excited. Yes! Come on here! <laughs> we're excited for what the Lord has purposed and prepared. Amen. For us, his people, there is a teaching, amen, that God has purposed and put on my heart for all of us on tonight. Amen. I thank God for everyone that is joining in all around the world. You know I send amen. kisses, love, and hugs to everybody. I thank God for everybody praying for me this morning. Amen. Glory to God. And so uh, we thank God. Amen. Amen. Because uh, you know I'm going to do what thus said the Lord, sick and all or whatever. Amen. amen. And so. We're excited for the word of God is powerful, sharpening any to its sword. It separates the marrow from the bone. It knows the thoughts and it knows the intents of everybody's hearts. Amen? Amen. 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 So we thank God for everybody that is here on tonight. And we thank God for everybody that is joining in. God bless everybody. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. To everyone that is coming in, glory to God. Some people are at their Bible class, but nevertheless, you all that is joining in, go ahead and invite, go ahead and share. Amen. Amen. And we are getting ready to do what the said the Lord. It's found in the book of Exodus chapter 33. Whoa. Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33. And they're coming on, they're coming in. Amen. I just want to send a shout out. At, uh, I really couldn't send a shout out this morning like I usually do to everybody around the state and all that good stuff. Amen. But when I began to look back, amen, on all those that joined in, Ooh, we had we had those from China that yes. joined in. Well, we him. had people, glory to God, from Trinidad. We had yes. people, amen, from London. And we had people from Africa. And, of course, we Australia. had people from all over, amen, oh, America, Australia. Yes. And so God Stop has it. really uh, blessed us. We are literally around the world. Yes. All of us, not just me, all of us. We are literally around the world, and we are doing the will of God. And so I do want to, amen, bless everybody. And I'm seeing what the Spirit of the Lord is doing. And tell your neighbor we're not going to back up. We're going to go forward. Well, it's found in the book of Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33, verse 1. The Bible decrees the word of God to be sold. Those that are writing down, amen. Exodus chapter 33 and verse 1. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. And the Lord said unto Moses, depart and go up. Mm hmm. Go up. Look at your neighbor. Say, go up. Go up. Tell your neighbor, God didn't say go forward. He said, go up. You can't go forward. Amen. First, you must go up first, then forward. Uh -oh. A lot of us uh -oh. try to go forward before we go up. Yeah, Look at right. your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you out of order. You have to go up first before you go forward. And so, and the Lord said unto Moses, depart and go up hence thou and the people which, watch this, thou hast brought up out of the, um, the land of Egypt unto the land which I swear unto Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, unto thy seed I give up. Find yourself going to verse 9. Uh -oh. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. And it came to pass as Moses entered in the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. Go to verse 14. And he said, my presence shall go with thee. And I will give thee rest. My presence shall go with thee. And I shall give thee rest. Somebody should be praising Woo! God. Because the transition shall be smooth. Yes. Are you hearing me? Somebody right. should be praising right. God. Right. Because yes. God has already reset us. Woo! He said, Come my presence okay. is going okay. with you. Okay. Glory to God. And when God's presence goes with you. You shall have rest. You better come on here. 
Amen. Verse 15, the Bible decrees the word of God to be so. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. You can't be so anxious, amen, to get to that place and you leave God. If God is not going, you have to begin to open up your mouth and say, God, if your presence do not go, we're not going. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you can mind God from Zion. I feel like preaching. I love you. You got to understand God said, let me tell you something. In this hour of your life, if the cloud don't go, you don't go. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm getting ready to preach in this way. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, if the cloud don't go, you don't go. If the cloud don't go, you don't go. The problem with the body of Christ, the cloud is not going and everybody else is going. The, my God from Zion, the cloud is moving and everybody is standing still. But the Bible makes it plain that Moses said, if your presence does not go with me, then I don't want to go. Why? Because if your presence don't go, then I cannot have rest. I will always, glory to God, be frustrated. I will always, you got to understand, just because you come to church, just because you open up the Bible, don't mean that the presence of the Lord is with you. Look at y'all looking at me. You said, oh, apostle, no, the presence of the Lord is always with me. Watch what he said. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Watch this. That's if you obey his commandments. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Why would a God that we serve, which is a good God, stay with us and we don't want to obey him? Y'all not saying nothing. Glory to God. Why would Moses say to God, if your presence don't go, then I'm not going. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, stop playing. Stop playing. The presence of the Lord is not with everybody. I don't care about how you shout out. I don't care about how you high five. I don't care about how you run around the church. The presence of the Lord is not with everybody. But you need to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, if the presence of the Lord is with you, you need to value it. You need to guard it. You need to protect it. And you need to obey God. Clap your hands and say, yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, look at your neighbor. Glory to God. Eyeball to eyeball. Because here we go. This is what we're getting ready to talk about on tonight. Tell them there's a cloud coming your way. There's a cloud coming your way. There's a cloud. Your way. Tell your neighbor, move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. This is the cloud of God. Look at your other neighbor and say to your other neighbor, there's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. The cloud of God. I don't understand why nobody is shouting here because you think you think God is supposed to go with you. You think God is supposed to meet you. But God said, glory to God, if my presence, which is my glory, which is the cloud of God, don't go back. She can't. If it don't go with you, glory to God, you can't have no rest. A lot of people are toiling and fighting. A lot of people, glory to God, are frustrated. A lot of people are up and down and in and out. I want to ask you a question. Is the cloud with you? Hallelujah. Oh, no, y'all scared to answer. Because you think the cloud, the cloud, which is the presence of the Lord, which is the glory of God, is with you. Come on here, my God from Zion. Come on, Samuel. Come on, Eli. Come on and talk up in this place. Uh, because the glory of the Lord uh, was with Eli family. Uh, but because Eli did not correct my God, his sons, yes, and sit them yes. down. Uh, the Bible said uh, God allowed the glory to leave. Uh, and the my God, his daughter in law that was having a baby, said Ichabod, That's which right. means the glory of the Lord has yes. left the place. Which means the my God, the cloud has left. A lot of y'all yes, shouting and got yes. the cloud. A lot of y'all, my God, saying yes and don't even have the cloud. I feel like preaching. Because I'm going to tell you, if you got the cloud, baby, there are things that are supposed to happen. Yes, beloved. Yes, if the cloud is in the house of God, no one can be able to preach. But Pastor Evelyn, that's the only thing we say when the cloud comes. There's something when the cloud comes. You got to understand. Yes, Lord Jesus. Even when the cloud comes, it'll show you your mess. Yes. Oh, wretched man that I am. Glory to God, I'm not even fit to be in his presence. 
when the cloud come, there's things that happen, not just when you can't preach and not just glory to God, you will see yourself. There's some other things happen when the cloud come. Look at your neighbor and say to your neighbor, there's a cloud on its way, your way, my God. Cloud on its way to your way. Tell your lady, the old shire. My God, yes, Lord. Tell your neighbor, okay. there's a cloud. There's a cloud. Coming, coming your way. Coming your way. Move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. This is the cloud of God. This is the cloud of God. Yeah, oh, the, the Lord couldn't come and tell us it's going to be a smooth transition. The Lord couldn't come and tell us, glory to God, at our side. He's getting ready to put some things back in order. He's getting ready to put some things back in his original place if the cloud would not come. All right, all right. They all not right. saying nothing to all me. Right. Because so many times we're in the house of God and we begin to say, don't you see the cloud? Don't you see the smoke? But I want somebody to realize if the cloud is in the house of God, then why are people leaving the same way they came? Because when the cloud come, lives are changed. When the cloud come, people start stop lying. When the cloud come, people start repenting and turning from their wicked ways. So I wonder how many times did the cloud really come? I wonder how many times did the cloud really come into the house of God because the cloud is the what? The presence of the Lord. And look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor when the presence come, he don't need our help. When the presence come, he don't need our help. Mm -hmm. There's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud. This is the cloud of God. My God from Zion. Well, when I look at the word cloud, the word cloud means vis it is a visible mass of vapor or smoke that which lowers mis uh, meniscally or uh, uh, when it lower, it looked like the presence of danger. That's it. Are you hearing me? Because anytime you see a cloud come down, amen, a visible cloud come down and it's low, glory to God, you know that the atmosphere is raining somewhere. There is some type of storm somewhere. Are you hearing yes. me? Y'all not saying yes. nothing. Yes. But well, 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 if the cloud that comes down emissively, on, glory man. to God, and it looked like come danger, on. then who would it look like danger to two? Wow. Two, wow. it would look like danger to your enemies. When the cloud well, come, look at y'all looking well, at me. Then the enemy knows that God has just took a bold in the place. I want somebody to clap your hands because there's a cloud on his way to your house. I want somebody to clap your hands because there's a cloud on his way to your body. I want somebody to clap their hands because there's a cloud on his way to your finances. Oh my God. There is a miraculous use of a cloud. What is the miraculous use of a cloud? Uh huh. The miraculous use of a cloud is when Israel, it helps Israel's guidance. In other words, God said, you don't have to worry when the cloud come, it's going to guide you. Yes. Uh huh. When the cloud come, this miraculous cloud come, it's manifesting the divine glory of God. When the miraculous cloud comes, it's manifesting the divine presence of God. Uh -oh. Say that one again, Apostle. Uh-huh. You get the divine glory and you get the divine presence of God. Mm -hmm. The manifested glory of God and the ma manifested divine presence of God. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Look at y'all looking at me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jesus transfigured. Uh, tra Jesus transfiguration. That is because it was a miraculous cloud that came down. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Jesus ascension. Jesus ascended in the cloud. Y'all not saying nothing. Yes, yes. That means when the cloud comes, somebody is transitioning. I'm not talking about from earth to heaven, but somebody is transitioning in the realm of the spirit. Right. Uh-huh. And we realize, uh, glory to God, that Jesus is going to return in the cloud. Uh -huh. Lord, oh, have mercy. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the cloud got it going on tonight. The cloud got it going on tonight. But what does it really mean for you and me? Because the cloud is the presence of the Lord. Well, let's look at the pillar of the cloud. All right. The pillar of the cloud. We just looked at the miraculous use of the cloud. Now let's look at the pillar of the cloud. It regulates Israel movement. 
It regulates. That means the timing. It regulates. It gives you the timing. You got to be in the timing, the rhythm of God. Are you hearing me? You got to know when to step. You got to know when to stand still. You got to know when to say, because Ecclesiastes says, glory to God, there's a time for what? Everything. And you got to know when. And it does what? It regulates Israel movement. The pillar of the cloud also, again, it guides Israel. Watch this. It also defends Israel. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you don't want to mess with me when the cloud comes. You don't want to mess with me when the cloud comes. The enemy don't want to mess with you when the cloud comes. Why? Because it defends you. You don't have to defend yourself because the cloud, my God from Zion, is on you. The cloud Amen. is hovering you. The presence of the Lord is with you. And the defense, and God will defend you. Watch this. The pillar of the cloud will cover the tabernacle. I said the pillar of the cloud will cover the tabernacle. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, the manifest or the manifesting of God's divine presence. Everybody go to Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter five. Uh-huh. Manifesting of God's presence. Manifesting of God's presence. Go to Second Chronicles chapter five. Chapter five and verse thirteen. Glory to God. Those that are writing it down, we're going to Second Chronicles chapter five and verse thirteen. This is the manifesting of God's divine presence. Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory to God. Moses made it plain. Amen. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Glory Amen. to God. The very first thing Moses said is, glory to God, if your presence don't go, I don't want to go. Yeah, right. Then the second thing he says, Pastor Evelyn, then show me your glory. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Come on, That's two different things. Yes. The first thing he said, glory to God, if your presence don't go, if the cloud doesn't go and with your presence, we're not going. And then the second thing he said, now show me your glory. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Yes. So you can have the presence and still not have the glory. Mm -hmm. You can have the glory. Watch this. My God from Zion. And you got to have his presence. That's right. Amen. Amen. So second Chronicles chapter five and verse 13, where are we at? Here we go. Uh-huh. Now here's the Bible. It, it, it came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound. Come on here. Okay. Okay. You got to be okay. able to make one sound. One sound. Amen. Don't come tell me God is telling you to do this when God, amen, has already told the leader that we're going to do this. We have to learn how to make one sound. Are you hearing me? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't let her go scripture. Because because my God, the student never be never goes beyond the teacher. Are you hearing me? So how is it? Glory to God. The student is saying God is telling me to go this way. Look at y'all looking at me. When the teacher said we're gonna do it like this. Uh-huh. Look at y'all. Look at y'all looking at looking at me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. Y'all play too much because we sit here in the body of Christ when God glory is trying to come in like the cloud. He want us to be on one accord. Yes. You got my God from Zion. When the leader said sing one song, here it is. You're trying to sing five songs. Look at y'all looking right, at me. Right. Everybody must be what on oh, one accord Lord. making come one on sound. Here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it came even to pass as the trumpets and singers was as one to make one sound, to be heard in praise and nobody getting all loud. Because don't you know, glory to God, you can be all loud and be boisterous and be above everybody, and that's a demonic spirit. Yeah. You got to be careful. Look at y'all looking at all me. Right. And you tell my son, that's God. That's the presence of the Lord. That's God's amen shouting through me. No, glory to God, because when you do it, that's irritation. Yeah, right. And if it's all irritation, right. it's a demonic spirit spirit. All right, all right. One sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying, for he is good for saying they were saying the same thing mm -hmm. for he is good for his mercy and do it forever. The Bible said that then the house was filled with the cloud. Yes, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Even the house of the Lord. So watch this. One sound. That means one sound. Glory to God is supposed to sound unison. Amen. Are you uh -huh. hearing me? Yes. And too many people are in competition in the body of Christ, yes. even for the glory of the Lord to come in. Amen. If I'm praying, I got to show I could pray. If I got, amen, got to do the announcement. I got to show I could do the announcement. Whatever it is, I got to show yes. that I can do it because competition is in the house yes. of God. Yes. And when competition is yes. in the house of God, there 
is no glory. The cloud is not coming because it's too much competition. But if everybody, amen, know their part, do their part and say, God, you, you be glorified, then God will come in. The cloud will come in. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, we ain't nobody. We ain't nobody. We need the cloud. We need the cloud. Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, Boshaya, we need the cloud. And so we realize in order for the cloud to come, amen, the divine presence, it has to come on one accord. Must be making the same sound. Are you hearing me? Yes. We can't say, well, God is telling me to do this. Uh-huh. Glory to God. You got to understand the house is subject to the prophet. Yes. yes. I don't care what type of prophet you are. Are you hearing me? Yes. I, I can see. I know I can see. Amen. But when I step into another man's or another woman's house, mm -hmm. glory to God, it don't matter what I I see. Look at y'all looking at me. And that's why I got a problem. Amen. That you got parking lot prophets and you got people in the bathroom prophesying and you got people in the lobby prophesying. Y'all crazy letting all these people prophesy to y'all. Glory to God. As if what they saying is more than what God said in the house. Y'all not saying nothing. Come on here. Tell your neighbor you just a hungry prophecy person. Just a hungry prophecy person. When you ought to be hungry for the Lord. That's right. Amen. Go to Exodus chapter 16, the divine glory. We just talked about the divine presence. Let's talk about the divine glory. Go to Exodus chapter 16 and verse 10. Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. We got to get this together. Amen. It has to be one sound. That's Amen. It. We all have to come into being unified. One accord. Oneness. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It's about God being heard. It's about God being seen. It's not about us. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor it's not about us. It's not about Glory us. to God. God is about to do something. The cloud is on its way. Amen. Amen. The cloud is on its way. When the cloud gets to your house, when the cloud gets to your body, when the cloud gets to your finance when the cloud gets to your job yeah. you yeah. got to move with the cloud yeah. look at your yeah. neighbor tell your neighbor don't go before the cloud don't go before the cloud and don't lag behind the cloud and don't lag behind the cloud Jesus Exodus chapter 16 and verse 10 is where I told y'all to go yes, and it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness and behold the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud now you got to look at verse 9 because they were murmuring complaining Look at this. They were murmuring and complaining about what God was doing. But what they thought was, they was murmuring and complaining against Moses. But see, what they failed to realize, they were complaining and murmuring against Moses. Because Moses didn't say he was going to let them go. Right. Come on. Moses Come on. didn't say, glory to God, Pharaoh going to let you go. God said it. Yes. And so when the Lord began to release them, they started murmuring, complaining. Are you hearing me? Yes. And so what happened is God said, have them to look toward the wilderness. When they looked toward the wilderness, look at y'all looking at me. They saw a cloud come down and it was the glory of God. Come on. I said it was a uh -huh. divine glory of God. So what am I saying? Oh, baby, you will get a cloud when mm -hmm. you murmur and complaining, but the cloud won't be around you. The cloud won't protect you. In other words, God will begin to show you, glory to God, your murmur and complaining. Yeah. Glory to God calls me to come down and I'm getting ready to deal with come you. On, when you study on. the scripture, when you look at the word of God, you have to understand, my God from Zion, they were complaining as if God wasn't going to take care of them. Uh -huh. Right. They were complaining as if God was not going to make a way out of no way. Okay. And so God said, listen, tell them Moses, I'm getting ready to send quails. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I'm getting ready to send what is a wafer. It looked like a man. Uh, what's that cereal called? Rice, Rice Krispie. <laughs> Glory to God. And he said, tell them only take so much. Well, they didn't think they was going to have enough for the next day, so they got greedy. And so God got mad. Are you hearing me? And so God said, while it's in their mouth, it's going to get them sick. Look at y'all looking at me. So why you want something so bad, so bad, glory to God and God is telling you what to do, how to do, Ooh. and you want to do more, why you, my God from Zion experiencing it, it's going to cause you to be sick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you hearing me yes. so when you get the divine glory you got to understand the glory of the Lord will come down in a cloud when you murmur and complain yes. and he's not coming down to bless you come on. he's coming down to deal with you yes. 
Yes, Are you Lord. hearing me? Yes, Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, don't play with the cloud. Don't, don't play, play with the cloud. cloud. Glory to God, because it's on its way. Because it's, it's on its way. way. Now move with the cloud. Now move with the cloud. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, God yes, talking Lord. to you. God talking to you. Yes, Go to the book of Exodus chapter 40. Go back to the book of Exodus chapter 40. Exodus chapter 40 and round about verse 36. Exodus chapter 40. I don't know about y'all, but I'm shouting. I don't know about y'all, but I'm praising God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm giving God the glory. I don't know about y'all, but I'm thanking God. I don't know about y'all. Why? Because the cloud is on its way to my house. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you think it's 2922, but I'm talking about me. I'll buy seat code Glory to God. It's on its way to my house. My house. Me, Vanessa. Look at your neighbor. Say me, whatever your name is. Come on. It's on its way to your house. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor because I am the temple of the living God. And I house the spirit of God. Tell your neighbor, here come the cloud. Tell your neighbor, you better hear what she's saying. Something's about to change in your life. Something is about to happen in your life. It's more than you just falling out and can't amen preach. It's more than glory to God. You seeing that you ain't nothing. There's some other things that happen when the cloud come. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor the cloud is on its way. Where I tell y'all to go. Oh, verse 36. Look at that. See, that was all in Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Exodus chapter 40, verse 36. Oh, and the Bible God. decrees the word of God to be so. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, tell your neighbor, I am the tabernacle. I am the tabernacle. Tell him you are the temple. You, you are, are the temple. You have to understand at one point they call a man the temple tabernacle. Yes. And you got to understand that God said when the cloud is lifted up from the tabernacle, we're getting ready to move. Y'all not saying nothing. We're getting ready to shift because my God from Zion, when the cloud comes up, is getting ready to move. It's getting ready to move forward and is about to protect you. Tell your neighbor the devil is a liar. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, glory to God, the enemy cannot penetrate the cloud. Y'all not saying nothing. I said the enemy can cannot penetrate the cloud. In other words, the enemy cannot see through the cloud. Because if the enemy can see through the cloud, then he can see through God. Because the cloud is God. And for that reason, the enemy cannot, cannot penetrate the cloud. Yes, yes. He yes. says, and when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys, in all their journeys, in all their journeys. Just because you may have, amen, a clear day, just because you may have all your T's crossed and all your I's dotted, it don't mean you're supposed to go and take off. Uh-huh. Glory to God, because you got to wait for the cloud to move. You got to move with God. That's what What's wrong with a lot of us? Amen. We're trying to go before God. Hey, Shonda. Lord, I want to tell you, thank you. My God from Zion. Mm. You got to learn how to ask God. God, are you moving yet? You got to learn how to ask God, God, are you shifting yet? Because you can holler, we shifting and you shift. And guess what? The cloud ain't shifted. Okay. Come on. Look at y'all looking right. at a sister. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go to verse 37 of Exodus chapter 40. Glory to God. Watch this. But if the cloud were not taken up, then the journey not till the day that it was taken up. In other words, glory to God. The Lord said, if the cloud has not taken up and is resting, then you don't move. Then you don't sit here and say, God, is it time yet? You be still because the cloud is resting on you. Okay. And just because the cloud is resting on you don't mean God is not working. Okay. He's working behind the scenes. Are you hearing yes, me? Lord. Look at your neighbor. Tell your yes, neighbor God. you don't have to help God. God don't need our help. We just need to understand the cloud. Amen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Verse 38 says, For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. God said, Glory to God, if I tell you my presence is with you, if I tell you the cloud is with you and the cloud is moving, the journey that you shall take, whether it's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally, the cloud will be with you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, there's a cloud coming your way. There's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. The Holy Ghost just said, tell them, be careful because people are going to try to make them move in a hurry. Glory to God. My God, be anxious for nothing because if the cloud is not moving, then you can't move. You got to learn how to say, baby, just wait a minute. Let me get a word from the Lord because I got to make sure if God ain't moving, I got to be still. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Yeah. See, see, Come on, see, see, see. Come on. Come on. So what is happening right here? Glory to God. God is giving instructions. Are you hearing me? You need instructions. You can't just say, oh my God, we got the cloud and there is no instructions. You got to have instructions with the cloud. Amen. And here is your amen. instructions right here. When the cloud, amen, is my God up on the tabernacle, you can't move. When the cloud is lifted, <laughs> glory to God, it's time to move out. Don't come putting up a one finger minute ministry because nobody is waiting on you. Hello. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you should have been getting ready over these times that God was speaking. Your mind should have been getting ready. Now you want to try to slow up everybody. Look at y'all. And I just heard the Holy Ghost say, tell them God ain't going to wait on nobody. Come on. Hello. In other words, he said, tell them he going to leave without you. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Whether you believe it or not, if you want to try God, you go ahead and try God because if the cloud is there, if God has came and he's in the cloud, are you hearing me? You could play all you want. Come on, somebody. Here is the teaching for us. Are you hearing me? When you begin to look back on the teaching of the archives of the puzzles, you see the puzzles. Amen. Is my God bringing a picture? Mm -hmm. The cloud. Mm -hmm. The cloud is on his way. Move. With the cloud. Sick it all. Move with the cloud. This is the cloud of God. Go to Numbers. Go to Numbers. Go to Numbers chapter 9. Go to Numbers chapter 9. Tell your neighbor, you got to move with the cloud, precious. You got to move with the cloud, precious. Tell them all that shouting and falling out all over the place, throwing Ooh. towels on you, yes. and you have no amen intent after you get up to move when God say move, to be still when God say to be still. You trying to go before God. You trying to be a slickster. You can't be a slickster. You can't out slick God. Come on, somebody. Y'all not saying nothing. You can't sit there talking about you know what you talking about. Look at y'all looking at me. Oh, yeah, tell them that. Oh, come on here, Miriam, Aaron because they came up against yeah. Moses and say God talks to us too and God said alright alright y'all want to put your mouth on Moses I didn't choose y'all to lead look at y'all looking at me and so here, here it is my God from Zion Aaron did get in trouble but he didn't get in trouble yet but Miriam got leprosy because they put their mouth on Moses and they say God talked to us like he talked to Moses you and the devil is a liar glory to God God does not talk to y'all like he talked to that's me. Right, Are you right. hearing me? Look at y'all looking okay. at me. My God, there is a difference of a leader. Are you hearing me? Not that the leader is better, but there's a different way that God talks to the leader. Ooh, glory to God. And they got beside themselves. And when they got beside themselves, leprosy came on. Watch this. Leprosy came on Miriam and Aaron had to go to Moses and beg Moses to go to God. Come on, somebody. Watch this. Glory to God. Not only to go to God that she will not die, but go to God and say, God, don't move yet. All right. Because if the, if the cloud moved, then she would have been what? Left behind. Uh -huh. And what the leprosy would have killed her. Yeah. yeah. My God. Mm -hmm. Come on here. Uh -huh. Tell him that the Lord told me to tell somebody, stop trying to size yourself up with your leader. All right. Now. Come on here. Stop trying to size yourself up with your leader. That's why some of y'all get common with your leader and you think you're on the same plan. Amen. Feel. Watch this. Tell them that. God, I thank you. Glory to God. The Lord said your leader is the coach and you on the field playing. 
Come All on, right. come on. <laughs> you better come on here. And the coach is calling the plays. Yeah. And I'm not talking about football. I'm talking about baseball. Yeah. Oh. Glory to God. You have a what? You have you have a pitcher. You have a catcher. You have an outfielder. You have the first base. You have the right. amen. The All second right. base. You have the shortstop. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh -huh. Y'all didn't think I know. Uh -huh. Lord, glory to God. You have a third one. Are you hearing me? And it is the coach. Are you hearing me? That gets the plays and know what is happening. Tell them that Holy Ghost will do. It is the coach that looks back and see a bigger picture. Yeah. All you see is your perimeter. Right. You don't see the bigger picture, but you think you can see everything. Yes, 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 and yes. Yes, God talks to you, but he doesn't okay. talk to you like he talks Come to the leader. On. Look at y'all looking at me. That's why we got so many hop to hop and hop to hop churches. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because sometimes we want to hop because we think we're on the same page with that leader. And we think that we already know what God is saying. Look at y'all looking at me. As a matter of fact, there was people in Moses' crew that thought they was on the same level playing field with Moses. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And God said, watch this. If the ground opened up and swallow them, then guess what? That's the Lord's doing because can't nobody open no ground but God. So what am I saying? We have to be careful when the cloud comes. Are you hearing me? Glory. She called Mo Shanda. You little Boshaya. Tell your neighbor to stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. That's why you keep getting in trouble because your mind, amen, is playing tricks on you. My God from Zion, tell your neighbor if you want all the hell she going through, then be my guest. Come on here. Because you some stuff you can't take. You sitting right there and you teaching all of a sudden your nose just start bleeding. Y'all better come on here. Well, is you sick, Apostle? Is you? No, no, glory to God. It's because of things that's happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Can God. you handle it? Can you stand Jesus. there with your nose being bloody and you still teaching the Thank gospel? You. No, you got to go and lay down somewhere. No, no, baby, because you will never fit for it. Look at y'all looking at a sister. Y'all not saying nothing. I, I get so sick and tired of people always trying to size themselves up to their leader. I don't care about you having a dream. I don't care about your prophetic gift. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor she never chose this position. Baby, if I knew all the hell that I had to go through for this position, if God would have revealed it to me, I love me some Jesus, but I probably would have said no. See? Are you hearing me? Yes. And if you want to walk in my shoes for a day, here you go. And if you have not been, amen, fortified, if you have not been sized up for the shoes, it's going to take you out. Come on now. Nobody has said nothing to a sister, but it's okay. But we want to run around here like we some long ranger. Amen. That God is talking something so deep to us. Y'all ain't saying nothing. My God from Zion, here it is. Come here, Eli, because you need to tell the people. When he was raising up Samuel, Samuel had to hear the voice of Eli. My God from Zion, you keep trying to hear the voice of God, and you can't even hear the voice of your leader. How about that? Oh, look at y'all looking at me. Where well, I said, because I done went there. Y'all done took a sister there. Uh -huh. Chapter 9 of Numbers. Amen. A cloud. There's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, it's headed to your house. It's headed to your house. Tell your neighbor, it's headed to your money. It's headed to your money. Tell your neighbors headed to your body. It's headed to your body. Tell your neighbors headed to your mind. It's headed to your mind. You better know what God is saying, baby. Yeah. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. This ain't no shallow nothing. We out in the deep. Yeah. Glory to God. And you need to understand. God said there's a cloud that's coming. Are you hearing me? And in the cloud, things begin to happen. The enemy cannot penetrate the cloud. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Holler the Bosiah. And the first thing that you will begin to do is see yourself that you are unclean. Yes, are you I'm hearing me? And you running around here. Thank you got it going on. Look at y'all looking at a sister. My God from Zion. Tell your neighbors what's wrong with you every day. You should be getting up saying, God, forgive me for I come short of the glory of the Lord. Numbers chapter 9, verse 17. Let's go there. Numbers chapter 9, verse 17. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Israel journeyed. Then after that, the children of Israel was moving. And in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. 
that means get comfortable where you at. All right. If God put you there, get comfortable. Because the cloud is there. Come on. Come on now. Are you hearing yes. me? Tell your neighbor, you ain't going to die in that situation. You ain't going to die in that situation. The cloud has told you to pitch a tent right there. Right there. <laughs> Come on. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you don't even know what is about to happen to you. You don't know what to happen to you. You better come. The Bible here. said, "At the commandment of no, the Lord, no. the children of Israel journey. At the commandment, at the orders. Nobody is gonna ask you nothing in this season. Come on. They gonna challenge you because the cloud has showed up. Y'all not saying on, nothing. Mama. I guess I shut everything down and I just go on up back to my room. Because the cloud will make God put a challenge on you. On. Look at y'all looking at me. Tell your neighbor you don't have a decision like you used to have when the cloud wasn't there. Oh, you don't have a decision like you used to have when the cloud Because at the there. commandment, commandment means order. Yes, yes, yes. Are you hearing me? You got to receive the order and you got to do it. Amen. So at the commandment of the Lord, the children of Israel journey and at the command of the Lord, they pitch. Did y'all see that? Yes. Ain't nobody asking you, do you want to pitch? Ain't nobody asking you, do you ready to go? Ain't nobody finna ask you nothing cute. We ain't giving you no pacifier. We ain't giving you no bottle. And we sure not giving you a playpen. Either you gonna come on here and do what thus said the Lord or go somewhere. Because when the cloud comes, glory to God, we ain't asking you, we commanding you. I, Father, they ain't saying nothing to us, sister, because they all grown. You know, I'm grown. And don't nobody talk to me like that. But you want to lift your hands up and talk about you lifting up holy hands hands. God said, no, baby, because you got to understand when the cloud come, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. That's the problem. Y'all shout about the cloud, but you don't understand the cloud. You don't understand what the cloud brings. He ain't asking you to sow a thousand. He's telling you. Are y'all getting that? Are y'all getting that? Y'all ain't saying nothing. That was just an example. No, I'm just trying to tell you, he ain't asking you. He's commanding you. He's commanding you to live holy. He That's ain't it. asking you, well, you know, God know my heart. Nope, not when the cloud come. That's it, Apostle. Yes. Ooh. Not when the cloud come. I don't understand. When the cloud come, watch this. You ain't going to understand if the cloud ain't there. See? See? Whether the cloud is there or not, you're not going to understand. So obey God and do what he... That's it. See, y'all shouting. But are you really ready for the cloud? Are y'all really ready for the cloud? Jesus, my Jesus. Wait, wait, verse 19. Ooh, and when the cloud tarried long upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Israel kept the charge. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all okay. not saying nothing. Okay. I know y'all writing. I know y'all writing. But as long as the cloud mm -hmm. abode. Then they kept the charge. Yes, I'm charging you. Yes. Yes. You don't have a decision. Yes. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh, yes, Lord. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, are you really ready for this cloud? Are you really ready for this cloud? They kept the charge of the Lord and journeyed not. Come on. Well, I just got a phone call and the phone call told me to come. Don't move. But they just told me, they, 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 they said they would help me, so I, don't move. See, that they, 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 they don't want me to prosper. See, they don't want me to have, to see there, see there, see, I knew it, I knew it. I, no, 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 because when the cloud, you can't move. Oh, it's right, you got to keep the charge. Are you really ready for the cloud? My God. Uh-huh, something you've been waiting on for a long time, and God said, not yet. Right. Oh my God. See, let me tell you something. Glory to God. When we was, amen, I think uh, we was in uh, Arlington at this particular time when we were driving. We was doing something, however. Glory to God. I think we was at another service in, in Texas. And um, uh, 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 my armor bear, she reminded me, amen, years ago, years ago. This is about, oh, my God, from really years ago. And we had went to TBN. Look at y'all looking at me. Glory to God. And, 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 and they wanted to start hollering. I looked at them and said, not yet. <laughs> But, 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 but all they doing is praising God. Yeah, but they finna holler. And then if the camera come on them and the mics come on them, they ain't got nothing to say. Come on, come on, mother. Yes, they come do. On. All they can say is, I love God. 
Yeah, but they don't have nothing. Watch this. To get somebody delivered. Right, right. Come on, mother. Y'all not saying Come nothing. On. I looked at them and said, mm-mm. Bring it down. Because if the cameras and the mics is in your face, you ain't got nothing to say. You have no D-E-P-T-H of God. That's it. You have you don't have no root yet. Yeah. 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 Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Because if the wind came right now, if the storm came right now, it'll knock you over. Come on now. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But then I looked at her and said, but now y'all got something to say. Now we got something to say. Come on. So with your holler, you got something to say. Don't be hollering because you just want to holler and you ain't got nothing to say. Come on, somebody. But now we can holler and they can put a mic to our... Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, 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 see. If we don't learn how to teach the people... Come on, somebody. Yeah. Nobody's trying to stop you from praising God. Right, right, right. <laughs> Come on, mother. But you sitting here, got people's attention, yeah. and you ain't got nothing None to say. Nothing. Right. You don't have nothing that will break yokes from their life. Jesus. You have nothing to open up the door because you don't have the authority or the power yourself to open your own door. Jesus. That's what are you hearing me? Look at y'all looking at me. But my God from Zion, it says, as long as it has kept the bold, amen, they kept the charge. In this hour, you got to keep the charge. You can't allow nobody, nobody come in your ear, glory to God, and entice you to get up and do it, to get up and go. Are you hearing me? You got to move when God moves. Yes. See, yeah. glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's my brother all day long. But when God was shifting me and taking me to Arizona, that didn't mean nothing because it wasn't about family. Right. Are you hearing right. me? Right. I said, you better go and talk to God because right. when you get your back up against the wall, sis can't help you. Right. Look at y'all right. looking right. at me. Right. You going to need God. Right. And if you go with me and God did not tell you to come, right. then the presence of God is not with you. And then God can get you out. Right. Look at y'all. Right. Well, I don't think so. All right, then you go ahead and take all these people with you yes. that God never yes. told them to come yes. and when things start happening yes. then you go ahead and be drained yes. you go ahead yes. glory to God and be all frustrated because God never told you to take people yes. you yes. got yes. to yes. listen listen every time I did a transition it always I ain't told nobody to come only one person that I both shot yes. but everybody else I told nobody to come I said y'all better go to God and you better talk to God and because God is going to be the one that's going to help you God is going to be yes. the one that's going to open up a door. I know it looked like I told everybody to come. The devil in them is a lot. They better learn how to tell the truth. That's true. There it is right there, mother. That's true. Tell the truth. Glory to God. Because when you get in a bind and you don't do right, you trying to look look at the church to help you out. That's it. That's it. Higher. When the cloud. When the cloud comes, yes. you got to be ready to be still, yes. even when you want to go, yes. even when the call come in, yes. mm -hmm. yes, Lord. because if the cloud, which is the presence of the Lord, does not move, then you on your own, mm -hmm. and there is a demonic spirit waiting on you, mm -hmm. because the enemy knows if the cloud is with you mm -hmm. or not. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it comes with instruction. Go to Ezekiel. Are y'all okay out there? Are y'all oh, okay? Yes, uh, are y'all okay? Yes. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you ready for the cloud? You ready for the cloud? Uh, you should be praying, God, help me to be ready. Glory to God. Uh-huh. Just like, just like you didn't know you had to go through what you had to go through in your body. You didn't know what you had to go through in your finances. Come on. You don't know it all in details. Amen. With the cloud. Jesus. So God help me. Help me, Lord. Ezekiel chapter one is where we're going, precious one. Ezekiel chapter one. Are y'all okay? Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, there's a cloud. There's a cloud. Head it your way. Head it your way. Ecclesiastes chapter one and go to verse twenty-eight. Ezekiel chapter one, verse twenty-eight. As the appearance of the bow, which is the rainbow. That's Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 28. As the appearance of the bow, which is the rainbow, that is in the cloud in the day of rain. So then what does the cloud do? It's going to bring rain. The cloud is going to bring rain. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
I don't know if some of y'all can slap your neighbor, high five your neighbor, but tell them the showers of blessings is headed your way. The showers of blessings is headed your way. Because when the cloud comes, the rain comes. Because it said, as the appearance of the bow, which is talking about the rainbow, that is in the cloud. In other words, when you see a rainbow, that is the rainbow that's in the cloud. And I already told you, that's the glory of the Lord. And when you see it, it's on its way to your house. My God. Uh-huh. In the day of rain. In the day of rain. Tell your neighbor the cloud is bringing the rain. The cloud, the cloud is bringing the rain. So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? So what comes with the cloud? Rain. Okay. When you and I may plant a seed in the ground, the ground, first of all, glory to God, must not be moist like that. Are you hearing me? It has to dry up. It has to look like that it's not going to produce. But then here come the rain. In other words, here come the presence of the Lord. Yes. And the presence of the Lord is about to sit on your situation. The presence of the Lord. Y'all not saying nothing, so I guess I'll Jesus. talk to y'all. The presence of the Lord is about to sit on on what yes. was not being productive. Yes. Yes. That's what happened when the cloud come. Mm. Yes, this was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face and I heard a voice uh -huh, of one that spake. In other words, when the rain come, God getting ready to talk. Yes, God. Yes, God. Lord, yes, have God. mercy. Tell your neighbor, get a yes, pen and paper God. by your bed. God is getting ready to talk because the cloud going to be over you when you're laying down. Tell your neighbor, you're going to look for a dream. Watch this. You're going to look for a dream, but God going to be talking. See, 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 see. In other words, you're going to wake up and say, I didn't dream. But God said, no, you didn't dream, but I was talking to you. Glory to God. Is there anybody, ah! glory to God, has, has ever went to sleep and you Ooh. were snoring and slobbing and, and counting cows and sheep and all that? All of a sudden in your spirit you were sleeping, but you heard a song coming out. Yes. That means God was talking to you. Yes. Mm. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor, don't forget about the pen and paper because the cloud is getting ready to speak. God getting ready to blow your mind. He's getting ready to talk. It's bringing the rain and it's bringing conversation. Yes. Tell your neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready? Emma, Go to chapter two. I heard a voice of one that spake. Uh -huh. Verse one of chapter two said, and he said unto me, watch this. Here's the conversation. Here's the conversation. Uh -huh. Here's the conversation. Uh -huh. Chapter two, verse one. And he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet. Get up. Uh -huh. Oh my son! Oh, y'all ain't gonna have no teacher. Oh, y'all ain't gonna have no teacher. Get up, Ishanda! Stand upon your feet, and uh -huh. I will speak unto thee. In other words, he said, "Come into attention, cause I'm getting ready to talk to you." Glory to God! Get yourself in alignment. Get your mind, Amen, aligned with me, cause I'm getting ready to talk to you. Somebody better say something in this place. He said, "Stand up on your feet, cause I'm getting ready to talk to you." When the cloud come, it brings the rain. When the cloud come, brings the rain. It's time for yes, conversation. Yes. God says, stand up on your feet. On, Glory to God. Get yourself together. Yes. Square your shoulders back. Yes, 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 yes. Dry your eyes. I'm getting yes, ready to talk yes. to you. He said, I will speak unto thee. And all of a sudden, it says, and the spirit entered into me. So the cloud began to speak. And then the spirit of God entered into him when he spake unto me. I told y'all that when you were asleep, glory to God, honorable yes, shire, yes. you didn't dream nothing. But you began to hear the words. God was talking in your spirit. Look at y'all looking at a sister. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell him that you thought you had to go to the restroom. But God woke you up so you can write it down. 
down because he didn't want you to lose this one. But you thought it was a restroom break. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing, but it was a wake-up call for you to write it down. I'm trying to help three people in here, Pastor Evan. You thought it was a bathroom break, but it was a wake-up call so you can write it down in your book. Look at y'all. Because you got to understand the enemy knows that God is talking to you. And if he can ever wipe it out of you, then you will miss what God is saying. And you can't miss what God is saying because the cloud is bringing the rain. The cloud is bringing instruction. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I got to be alert. I got to be alert. He said, and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. And the spirit spoke into me when he spake. Come on. And the spirit entered into me when he spoke. Y'all not saying yes, nothing. Yes, you yes. got the spirit of God in you. But when the cloud comes and start talking, he's coming in. And now you talking. Say, my God, the song is playing in my spirit. Uh-huh. Look at y'all. Then you get up and go to the YouTube. Or you get up and get your CD. You get up. Glory to God. Look at y'all looking at a sister. That is because. God said, I'm getting ready to hover over your bed. Isha, when you sleep, I'm going to hover over you and I'm going to talk to you. Because oh the cloud, yeah, they all shot now. Uh-huh, tell them it ain't going to be a demon, baby. Oh, yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God, this is the cloud. This is the cloud. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. The cloud that is on its way to you, you're going to hear. Yes, God. Your ears are going to be open. You got ears, but you can't hear. You got eyes, but you can't see. But God said, when the cloud come, your ears are going to be open and you're going to hear what I have to say. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, the cloud is on its way to your house. The cloud is on its way to your house. So what happens? Did I tell y'all to go to 44 of Ezekiel? No. All right, we'll go there with a sister. Ezekiel 44. Yes, I'm Apostle Jackson, but y'all know how I talk. Come on here, let's go. <laughs> Glory to God. We are sisters and brothers in Zion. Yes, Look at y'all. Yes. <laughs> Ezekiel 44. Ezekiel 44. Y'all there yet? Yes. Amen. Got one and the rest of y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Yes and yes and more yeses. <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 44 and we're going to verse 4. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. Then brought he me the way of the north gate. Uh -uh. <laughs> Wipe my oh, nose right there. Yeah, they not yeah. shouting Jesus. I just really thought they was going to be shouting because they know the gates is open. I don't know. Daughters over there tell come on. Come on. Come on. Glory to God. Then he brought, then brought he me the way of the north gate before the house. Come on. And I look and behold the glory of the. Hmm? All right. Glory to God. Behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord, and I fell upon my face. Watch this. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark well. Position your heart. Okay, okay. Get your okay, heart right. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, the north gate is about to open for you. The gate of wealth has opened and now the north gate. And the north gate that opens to you, it, it causes the glory to fill the house. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark well and behold with thine eyes. Get your heart right and start looking in the rim of the spirit. And hear with your ears in the rim of the spirit. Mm -hmm. All that I say unto thee concerning all the ordinance of the house of the Lord. I'm getting ready to tell you about things that are getting ready to happen to the body of Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got one, mm -hmm, I got some of y'all ain't saying nothing. God said, I know y'all want me to tell y'all what's going on with Trump. But I need to tell y'all what's going on with the body of Christ. That's right. I need to tell y'all what's getting ready to happen in the house of God. Glory to the bull shot. Don't make no sense you to be in the house and God get ready to tear it up. Come on. Come, Come on, on here, somebody. Come on here. Glory to God because God getting ready to reveal some Jezzies. Uh -huh. yeah, God no. Jezebel. God getting ready. Glory oh, to God to reveal. Oh, Amen. God. Amen. The crocodile. Are you hearing me? That's yeah. the one that's been talking. Are you hearing oh, me? God, God is getting yeah, ready no. to reveal the witches. Are you hearing me? Y'all not saying nothing. You want God to talk to you about Trump and God said, I'm getting ready to talk to you about what's going on in the house of 
God. I'm getting ready to show you the enemy just as he is. I'm getting ready to show you that there are some leaders, glory to God, that's speaking in my name, but they sold out to the devil. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God, tell your neighbor this happens when the north gate opens. This happens when the north gate opens. He said, all that I say unto thee concerning all the ordinance of the house of the Lord and all the laws thereof. And mark well the entering in of the house. Mark it well. What did Jesus say, Pastor Evelyn? If you come any other kind of way, you are what? A thief and a robber. Look at y'all looking at me. Whatever, whatever, with every going forth of the sanctuary. I told y'all. This dealing with the sanctuary. Yes. God getting ready to expose. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said God yes. is getting ready, ready to expose yes. because the cloud is coming. Uh -huh. yes. But tell your neighbor, God don't have to expose it like other people think. Because uh -huh. he said, get your heart right. Mm -hmm. Get your eyes ready to see. Get your ears ready to hear. Because I'm getting ready to, my God, hover over you when you sleep. Yes. And I'm going to speak to you. While you're looking for a dream, I'm going to speak to you. They're they not saying nothing yes, to us, sister. You're going to look for a dream. And God said, no, I'm getting ready to talk to you. I need you to get paper and pen because I'm getting ready to tell you. <sighs> amen. Look at y'all looking at me. Some of y'all, amen, that is watching me. And some of y'all that's in here, y'all getting ready, glory to God, not to go to certain people's houses no more. Oh. Because God is getting ready to show oh. you, amen, that they have been ran by Lucifer. Oh. Y'all not oh, yeah. saying nothing. Ooh. Glory to God. Nobody is saying nothing to me, God. Lord, have mercy. How is it that the whole house is dead? Y'all ain't said nothing. The court's Father. all in the in the house of God. You got the praise team, but they're dead. Y'all not saying nothing. You got greeters, and they dead. Y'all not saying nothing. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. nah, 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 nah. Glory to God. You got oh, my God. And then you'll see the board members, and they dead. Y'all not Ooh. saying nothing. Look at your neighbor. And tell your neighbor, God getting ready to reveal. God's getting ready to reveal. Uh-huh. And because you love some people so much, and you love certain churches so much, on, God said, man. I got to lay you down to sleep in talk to you. I'm getting ready to open the north gate and the glory of the Lord is coming in and I'm getting ready to give you my ordinance and I'm getting ready to give you my laws and I'm getting ready to show you who is out of order and who is out of pocket and who didn't want to give up the baton. Y'all not saying nothing. Because y'all don't understand. I've been praying. I've been asking God about a couple people. Glory to God that is in high position. Amen. That everybody flops to and, and, and flop around to and hallelujah to. Uh -huh. Glory to God. He get ready to reveal it to me. Glory to y'all ain't saying nothing. I said, God, I need you to show me something. I need you to talk to me. Because something right here ain't right. Yeah, and y'all no. love them. And y'all love them. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Glory to God. Oh, God. 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 God is getting ready to reveal. Don't come telling me, oh, I, I sense this. Oh, no, no, I deserve it. Uh, 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 uh. This is in a whole, whole different, different dimension. You better talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you hearing you me? Talk about it. Glory to God. They ran by Lucifer. They ran by Satan. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. My, 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 my God from Zion. So y'all keep looking at what's that little, little thing with the entertainers? What, what's that stuff? The, the, the Illuminati. Y'all keep looking at the Illuminati, but y'all don't understand there's Illuminati. Hey, glory to God oh! in the house of God. Oh! Y'all don't understand. There's some people that sold out to the devil. Glory to God. There is no power. Are yeah. you hearing me? And just because you got gifts and talents, you ain't got the oil on you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. How you coming into the hospital and you still leaving sick. Y'all praying for a sister. Y'all yes. praying for a sister. Yes. This what the word said. This what comes with the cloud. You out there. There's a cloud coming your way. Mm -hmm. Move with the cloud. Mm -hmm. Yes, when God said pack up, you better pack up. Yes, you better Lord. shut your mouth and pack up. Yes, but I've been Lord. with them forever. And you better shut your yes, mouth and pack Lord. up. Yes, Lord. Because yes, when God, Lord. my God, yes, I hear your Holy yes, Ghost. Lord. And I'm in the word. When God, amen, split the altar. Yes, y'all ain't Lord. saying that. Yes. 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 He going to yes. split the altar. Yes. Because they come on say they got perverted stuff. Lord. They praying. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, God. It's in the word. It is. I'm going to split the altar. Don't split the pony. You better hear what I say. Because when the cloud comes, ah, Jesus, I had to calm down. I got to calm down. Because y'all don't understand. Y'all thought the cloud was just, we all falling on our face. Mm -hmm. 
and that we see ourselves. But God said the north gate will be open to you. And the north gate, glory to God, will begin to show you stuff that's literally going on in the sanctuary. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, and you, got, you don't have to run around and expose nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Glory to God. The glory is going to expose it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh-huh. Because the Holy Ghost said, I gave them time to get it right. Glory to God. And they did not turn from their wicked ways. Oh, I hear God, baby. Glory to God. They did not repent. Just because my God from Zion, nobody is calling them out. God said, I'm calling them out. You got to understand there are leaders that's leaving him by the dozen. Y'all not saying nothing. Glory to God. There's a cloud on his way to your house. My God. He said, mark it well, the entering in the house. Mm -hmm. Mark it well. Mark it well. Yes, With every going forth of the sanctuary. <laughs> yes, God. Yes. Are y'all okay out there? Yes. Are, are y'all okay out there? Because it's, it's exposure time. Y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing. Because God gave people time to get it right. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And you wondering why people, there are certain people still dead in churches and why the ailments have not been healed and delivered. Y'all not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Jesus came, amen, to heal and deliver. Y'all not saying nothing. Preach. Glory to God. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. You can sit there and get all teaching if you want to. You need the power of God. Amen. People need to be healed. Look amen. at y'all. My God, people need to be delivered. Amen. You need to start casting out demons. You can't cast out no demon because you got a demon in you. Y'all not saying nothing. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, watch what happens. Happen. Watch what happened. The cloud is on its way. The cloud is on its way. So in the cloud, God start talking. The north gate is open. Mm. And the north gate is going to cause, watch this, the glory to fall, but it's going to reveal the law. Are you hearing me? It's going to reveal his his It's going to reveal the law. It's going to reveal the ordinance. Are you hearing me? Uh huh. Ordinance, mm -hmm. order. People are out of order All right. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? I'm scared, amen, for people to mess with people when the presence of the Lord has fell on somebody. You trying to keep your carpet clean, amen, glory to God. Then you shouldn't have bought that pretty carpet, amen, because the house of God is supposed to be in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, look all at y'all right. looking at all me, right. uh-huh. Y'all want to have smoke screens and, 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 and darkness all in the sanctuary. Can't nobody see oh, nothing no. dark in the sanctuary. What's Come wrong on. with y'all? I wish you would tell the people. I, I got, let me stay over here. Go, 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 go to Proverbs 16. It's one thing, glory to God, if we sing, and it's another thing if the word turn the lights on, we need to sing. Hello, Apostle. Tell your neighbor, glory to God, the lights go off when I go see a movie. Come on now. Come on. Not when I go to church. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Amen. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Glory to God. That's what they do in concerts and stuff like that. Lights go dim, dim down. Are you hearing me? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing to a sister. But it's okay. But yet the people in the pews are dying. Dying people. Glory to God. Are both tired. Coming in one way and leaving the same way. Y'all y'all, wondering why. Amen. Suicide. Amen. Is on a rampage. And it's so high. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Because you we talking about the schools not letting yes. God in for prayer. Whoop I signed out. You just said something. You just said something. Okay. Then some houses of God have not right. allowed prayer. Right. Okay. You talking okay. about five minutes, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the service today. Lord touch, deliver, and set free. Amen. That ain't doing nothing. Where's the prayer at? Where is breaking up the folly ground? You got all types of folks getting ready to walk in through them doors. Are you hearing me? The atmosphere has to be set. Is anybody listening? Yes, Did everybody go yes. home? Look at your neighbor. Tell yes. your neighbor, I ain't got time this year. I ain't got time this year. You want to know why everything is held up for you? Because people have not prepared the atmosphere. The Ooh. altar is perverted. Y'all oh. not saying nothing. Oh, Y'all not saying yes, that there's yes. a witch standing at the yes, altar. Yes. And I'm not talking about a person. Ooh. That's it, Apostle. Come on. Y'all better pray for me. Y'all need to pray for me. Yes. Glory to God, because we're doing all types of stuff. 
and talking about in the name of Jesus. And we are supposed to say, yes, Lord, yes to your will and yes to your way. God chooses us. Amen. And we're supposed to be a person that carries, not just carry the glory, but carry the power. I'm so sick and tired of folks that I'm carrying the glory and ain't nobody changing from you carrying the glory. So he talks through the cloud. He's getting ready to reveal what's happening. In the sanctuary. Okay. Is anybody listening? Yes. Go to Proverbs. Because we're getting ready to call it a night. Oh my God. Jesus. Tell your neighbor, she already done told us. She already, she already told, told us. us. The cloud is headed your way. The cloud is headed your way. And things happen when the cloud comes. Things happen when the cloud comes. Proverbs chapter 16. Go to Proverbs chapter 16. Glory to God, I O C. Y'all singing for demons and stuff like that. Glory to God. Y'all better stop the foolishness. And Abo Shanda. Every door is not a good door. Y'all better stop the foolishness. I say it again. Every door is not a good door. You're singing for demons. Come on here. My God. Proverbs chapter 16, because they trying, the scripture says they want to know how you praising God. Like they want to know, they want to know your secret. Mm -hmm. Baby, that's in the New Testament. That's it. They want to know your secret. And you're going to sit up there and you're going to reveal the secret and talk about God is moving. All right. All right. Because they're going to know how to bind you. Samson, can you come talk to us? Because they don't believe what I'm saying. Delilah. What's up with you, girl? You was employed by the Philistines. Come on. Come mm-hmm. on. Show us where his strength lies. You ain't got to do nothing. Just reveal it to us, and we're going to come in, and we're going to bind him. We're going to bind him where his strength lies. Look at your neighbor. You think it's your money. Who you think it's your money? It ain't your money. Ain't your but you got power. Glory to God. And the enemy wants it to be revealed so he can bind it. Come on. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, listen here. This is why I be telling prophets and prophets, stop all that prophesying. Because the enemy, now he knows. Right. And now he's binding you with that. You got to learn how to shut up sometimes. Yes, oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. It don't matter if you do got a word. Learn how to be quiet. Because the enemy is trying to see where your strength lies. If they some of y'all that praise God and you get your break and your deliverance through your praising, glory to God, the enemy wants to know. And you sit here revealing it and then he binds you and you can't praise God. And so you don't get a breakthrough. That's uh-huh. it, Apostle. He's trying to find out where your strength lies. Mm-hmm. They not saying nothing to That's me. That's good. That's good. You got to learn how to keep it on the DL, baby. Mm-hmm. You got to learn how to be quiet. Yes, tell him that. He said you got to learn how to look dumb for a season. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You got to look like you ain't got nothing. That's good. One thing I love about Jesus, and there's many other things, but one thing about Jesus, anytime they asked him a question, he turned around and gave him a question back. He said, all right, if you answer this question, then I answer. And he stumped them with his question. Sometimes y'all sitting here blabbing all off at the mouth. Come on here, somebody, when you need to learn how to ask them a question. Oh, but I forgot the glory with you. <laughs> I forgot. But when the cloud comes, you're going to know how to talk. Yes, that's right. Because the enemy going to try to find out where your strength lies. Yep. Is anybody listening? Yes. Tell, I keep trying to tell, tell your neighbor your strength ain't in your money. Your strength ain't in your money. That's why you keep asking God to give you money so it ain't there. Yeah. Come on, brother. Come on. <laughs> But there's a part of you that God has strengthened, and the enemy is trying to find out what part is it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when he finds it, and you sitting there letting him, yeah, man, yeah, man. shut up. Ooh, God, God, God. Well, I told y'all. Proverbs 16 and 15. Come on, babies. Come on, y'all. Mm-hmm. In the light of kings. Watch this. In the light of the king's countenance is life. In the light of the king's countenance is life. So what is that saying? When the king's countenance is smiling, is happy, then it's life. You could tell 
by a person continent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. Watch this. And his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. Jesus. So the cloud brings what? The rain. Mm -hmm. The former and the latter rain. When the cloud brings the rain, it brings the favor. I said, when the cloud brings yes. the rain, it brings the favor. Yes, yes. It is the latter rain. You have the former rain and you have the latter rain. Yes. It is bringing favor. So when the cloud comes, it comes packed yes. with favor. Yes. Mm, yes. This is good to yes. a sister. Yes. Go to Zechariah chapter 10. The cloud brings rain. Something is going to happen. Productivity mm -hmm. is getting ready to happen. Go to Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 10. Are y'all okay out there? Yes. Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 10. Go to Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Y'all write that down. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. At ye of the Lord reign in the time of the latter reign. Wait, hold on, hold on. Acts. Acts. Ye of the Lord reign yes. in the time of the latter rain. So over in Proverbs mm -hmm. 16 and 15, it says that the rain, the latter rain, mm -hmm. is like a cloud that has favor. Over here in Zechariah, it says, Ask ye of the Lord reign in the time of the latter rain, in the time of the latter rain, in the time of the latter rain. Jesus. Tell your neighbor, yes, the, cloud the cloud is coming your way. It's coming your way. The cloud is coming your way. And the latter rain, and the latter rain is impacted is in, impacted this in this cloud. But if you don't ask, but if you don't ask, for, ask the Lord, ask the Lord for the latter rain, the latter rain in the time. In the time of the rain, of the rain. you ain't going to get it, even if the cloud is there. It's telling you right here. Y'all, y'all, what? Okay, keep Ooh. reading, Lord. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone, grass in the field. Tell your neighbor your broke day is over. My your broke day is over. Tell your neighbor your drought is over. Your drought is over. Tell them the cloud is headed your way. The cloud is headed your way. And you got to open up your mouth and ask of the Lord. You got to open up your mouth and ask of the Lord. For the latter rain. For the latter rain. See that time I said, Oh, the glory, the glory, oh, the cloud. It then brought the rain. Oh, my God. No, you got to ask. Open your mouth and ask. <laughs> there you go, daughter. Yes. So the cloud does what? Brings rain. And it don't just bring rain, it brings the latter rain, and it has favor impacted or compacted in the cloud. Yes. Miracle of the cloud signifies God's presence, his purpose, and his guidance. God's nature is to reveal himself. God can't wait to reveal himself to yes, us. <laughs> he does it by the way of the Holy Spirit. I told you before, move when the, move when the cloud moves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a cloud comes, you're headed to the promised land. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. When the cloud comes, you're headed Hallelujah. to the promised Hallelujah. land. What Ooh, God yeah. promised yeah. is going to take the cloud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, Hallelujah. I thought I told you when we started. Ooh, I thought I told you when we started. 
cloud. There's a cloud. There's a cloud. Coming your way. Coming your way. Move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. The cloud of God. The cloud of God. Tell your neighbor, don't be waiting on nobody. Don't be waiting on nobody. Move when the cloud moves. Move when the cloud moves. When the cloud be still, you be still. Tell them don't allow nobody to move you or rush you. Because it's the cloud. Because it's the cloud. Don't get the work done. Just get the work done. Go back to Exodus 33 because we're about to we're about to close out right here. Yes, God. Exodus 33. Are y'all okay? Yes. Are y'all okay? Amen. Are y'all okay at Facebook Live? Amen. God bless you. Exodus 33. Amen. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I need about 10 greeters, but I'm okay. Yes, Lord, touch me. Touch me. Okay. Yes, Lord. So y'all went there. Yes, just, just took yes, it on. Yes. Exodus 33. Go back to Exodus 33 where we started. Mm -hmm. Exodus 33. Are y'all ready? Yes. You already know that God said go up. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Okay. Now let's hit. Let's hit verse uh, nine. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended. Mm -hmm. As you enter into the tabernacle, tell your neighbor as you enter into you. As you enter into you, the tabernacle is in you. The tabernacle is in you. That's why you can get to the building and nothing happens. That's why, That's why you get to the building and nothing happens. Cause you never came into the tabernacle in you. All right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle that the cloudy pillar descended, and the cloudy and the cloudy pillar descended, and the cloudy pillar descended. When you tapped on the inside, then the cloud of God, my God, descended, came down, and stood at the door of the tabernacle. They ain't saying nothing. Yes, God. Stood at the door of your mouth. Yes, God. Come on. Stood at the door of your mouth because God getting ready to talk to you. Because a door is what opens, mm -hmm. what comes in, and what goes out. It's not what comes in defiles a man, it's what comes out. Yes, Father. Yes. So God is saying, when you learn how to tap. Look at your neighbor say, not the rim, not the rim, but the rim in you. But the rim in you. When you learn how to tap that rim, the cloud is gonna descend. And God is gonna start speaking. So you wondering why God ain't speaking to you. Because you have not learned how to tap the rim on the inside of you. You want everybody to know that you can see. Come on, flying angels and all that. But you cannot tap what's on the inside of you. He stood at the door of the tabernacle and the Lord began to talk with Moses. And this is one thing I love how he talks to Moses. He talks to Moses face to face and mouth to mouth. That means that's intimacy. That means that's the relationship that they have. Which means everybody don't have that type of relationship right. with God. That's it. That's it, Apostle. When you talk mouth to mouth and face to face. Jesus. Ooh, Glory to God. Hit verse 14. He says, and he said, my presence shall go with you, Moses. And I'm going to give you rest. See, right there, everybody should be praising God. Hallelujah. Because when the presence goes, you can't tell me. That there is no rest in your soul. Yes. <laughs> and the weary shall be at rest. Rest. Mm -hmm. Do not be weary. And well doing. Because in due season. If you. If come on. If you don't if faint. You faint not. So you have to understand what God is saying. He's going to give you rest. So where you should get weary and tired. And don't want to go on. You're going to be able to go on. Because you in rest. Because the cloud brings the rest of God. Are you hearing me? Yes. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. And I always say, God, glory to God. 
Let me not do, say, or go anywhere that you have not anointed, appointed, or assigned me for. What, what, what's the meanness for? Is it meanness for? What, what's that for? What, what we got meanness for? Well, I need to know what that means. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because God is talking good. And I don't okay. understand why you got mean faces. Right, Amen. Right, right. Glory to God. You should have even thumbs up, hearts. You right. should be smiling. Right. Why did some mean faces come, come across the board? That come doesn't on, make any type of sense to me. When God said his glory, the cloud come is on, on its way to your house. Yeah. What else do you want? <laughs> you looking for money. And God said you need a cloud. Yes, God. Yes, God. You looking for somebody to help you out, and God said you need a clown. Yes, yes. Look yes. at y'all. Well, did you? You must have pressed it. Amen. It didn't mean to press it, but I didn't understand that. Glory to God. Why well, I seen a couple mean faces. Yes, mother. Not in a season like this. Not come in a time on, like on. this. When the cloud is on its come way to on. your house. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God just broke it down. Amen. What yes. happens when a cloud comes? Yes. yes. The come enemy on, won't be able to penetrate come it. Come on. Come the on. rain will begin to happen in your yes. life, but you got to ask yes. for the latter rain. Yes. See, y'all, see, I have to ask a question because some of this stuff we be doing, I need to know that we do it, you know, by mistake or we did it intentionally. Glory to God, because I don't understand why we got mean faces. Come there shouldn't now. be a mean face because a cloud is headed to your house. Hallelujah. A yes. cloud is headed to you, and you got to learn how to tap the rim on the inside of you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. yes Lord. Come on, somebody. You mad about what? What you mad about? Everything is getting ready to turn in your favor. Yes. Because oh, come the, the favor's in the cloud. Yes. Okay. Woo. Hallelujah. I said favor's in the cloud. Yes. yes. See, they done made a sister go there. I'm not mother. I'm not. They made, they made, y'all made me go there. I don't Hallelujah. understand the mean face. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yeah, everybody should be happy. Yeah, it, that's right. Smiling faces, thumbs up, yes. hearts. Amen. Everybody should be it should be it should be so much blood on this thing. Come on now. Because the cloud is headed your way. Hey. I said the cloud is yes. headed your way. Hallelujah. I said the cloud. What is, what is the cloud? It's the presence of God. It's the glory of God. It's headed your way. And God said, my God from Zion, get a piece of paper and pen and take it to the bed. Because he's getting ready to talk to you. He's getting ready to reveal to you the churches. Leaders that say they got God and got the devil. Come on, my Lord. Where's Ichabod over the houses? And you want to be mad about that? Well, go on. Go on, because God's getting ready to tear up some podiums. He's getting ready to tear them up. God come in there, glory to God, and, and, and the podium split. I bet you start running up out of there. I bet you did win. And it won't be no devil. Because the devil ain't trying to split no podium if he done took over. Come on now, glory to God. Y'all y'all getting upset because I'm revealing? Don't reveal. You getting upset because I'm revealing? Why would you get upset so y'all made a sister go there? I'm trying to tell you what time it is for you and your life and your house. Glory to God. There's a cloud headed to your house. And the cloud is not just, amen, you're going to fall on your face. The glory of the Lord is here. Oh, God, I'm all jacked up. No, there's other things that come with the cloud. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, they made me go there. That's all right. All right. Go on to Matthew 17. Amen. You got to understand. Moses said, listen. Glory to God. If your presence, if the cloud don't go, I don't want it. I don't want to go. You in there. Amen. 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 You can't go before God. Come on, mother. You got to wait on the Lord. You got to wait for him to move. I love David. David says it like this. The Philistines was um, coming up on him. And David said, well, God, do I go after him? And God said, when you hear the sound. At the top of the mall bed. Yes. Then you move out. In other words, when you when you see me move at the yes. top of the mulberry, yes. then you move out. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. We hear you. Go to Matthew Precious Hallelujah. 17. Yeah. We, 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 we're about yeah. done. Two more scriptures and we're done. Yeah. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because there's a cloud. Because there's a cloud. Come on, on his way to my house. Oh, yeah. And the devil can't penetrate it. And the, devil can't penetrate the thief can't penetrate it. It can't the the robber can't penetrate it. Y'all better start getting happy. Because everybody ain't getting no cloud. I said everybody ain't getting no cloud. Hallelujah. But when God has said to all of us, 
There's a cloud headed your way. You better start praising God. You better start loving on God. Hallelujah. The enemy don't want the cloud to come. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? But can't nobody stop the cloud but you. You don't want God to make a U-turn. Amen. Amen. You don't want Amen. him to detour. Because mm -mm. when David started acting a plump fool, he went on over there. Glory to God to over Edom house. Mm. And what was supposed to be David went to over Edom for three months. Y'all better hear what I'm telling you. And then when David got himself together, hello lights, and realized that all that over Edom was getting, it belonged to him. God wasn't stutting David. And David was the heart of God, and God yeah. still wasn't stutting him because he's going to get upset because somebody touched the ox wrong, which was his presence. You right? You want God to detour? He on his way to your house, and you getting upset? Matthew 17 is where I'm headed to, verse 1. After and after uh, chapter 17, verse 1 of Matthew, and after six days, Jesus take it Peter, James, and John. Didn't take everybody. Mm -hmm. So then therefore the cloud ain't getting everybody. Because he only took Peter, James, and John. That's awesome. And brought them up into a high mountain apart. Right? Yeah. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. Now jump down to verse 5. No, let's go to verse 3. Okay. No, let's go to verse 2. <laughs> this is all some good stuff. And, and, and watch this. When he took them to the high mountain apart and was transfigured and was transfigured. In other words, that's why God said you getting ready to see who's of God and who's not. Because when the cloud comes, it transfigures. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was as white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto him Moses and Elijah. There appeared the law mm. and the power of God. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes. Go to verse 5. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, this is my beloved son. So then what is the cloud getting ready to do? The cloud is getting ready to tell everybody who you really are. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to believe who you was in God. Are you hearing me? I but the cloud began to tell Peter James ha, who Jesus was. Said, this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased in. Hear ye him. Oh my God. Uh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell him that. He said to tell them you're getting ready to be validated by the cloud. It don't matter if the people don't want to accept you. I'm getting ready to validate you. The cloud is going to validate you. I said the cloud is going to validate you. That's what happened. God came down in the cloud. Why? Because here it is, Peter, uh, James, and John. Instead of them, amen, tapping into the realm of the spirit, they went carnal. Yeah. Come on. And when they went carnal, the cloud had to come down. So when people start getting carnal, come on. And you talking about the depth, D E P T H of God, mm -hmm. and they trying to get carnal. God said, "I'm coming down." Jesus. The cloud is going to come down and validate you in front of them. This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased in. Mm -hmm. Hear ye him, because he got the word. But he, cause he got the deliverance yeah, in his mouth. Awesome. Come on, be he got here. the breakthrough. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you don't have to worry about a piece of paper doing it. <laughs> you don't, you don't have, have to worry, worry about a piece of paper doing it. Because they, they may not want to give you the paper. But the cloud is going to give it to you. The cloud is going to give you the validation. That's good. That's good. Oh, that was good right there. Yeah. As we close on tonight, what you say, Apostle? let's go to First Corinthians. As we close on tonight, there's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud. Don't be in a rush. Don't go before the cloud. Don't go before God. And please don't lag behind. Because a lot of us sit there and say, well, I don't understand. In your not understanding, move. If God say move. Yes, yes, Lord Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes, well, I tell y'all to go. First Chapter 10. Just want to know if you was on the same boat with me. Okay. Or if you jumped off and started swimming another way. 
1 Corinthians chapter 10 is where we're going, beloved. We're about to, amen, conclude the matter on tonight. There's a cloud coming your way. Move with the cloud, the cloud of God. My God, from Zion, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, here it is. We're hitting it right here. Verse 1, moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud, uh -huh. and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat. Look at y'all looking at God. Uh -huh. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of the spiritual rock. Did y'all see that? Yeah. That followed them. And the rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not ple well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Wow. Why? Because remember now, we talked about the scripture when it was murmuring and complaining. And God had them to look to the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And God descended in a cloud. Mm -hmm. He brought the quails. Mm -hmm. And as they was eating, they got sick. God was what? Not well pleased with them. So guess what? They was in the presence, but yet God was not pleased with them. Verse 6, now these things were our example. So if it was our example, it said heads up. Just as it happened to them, if we do not begin to do what God has said when the cloud come, so shall it happen to us. Now these things were our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Uh -huh. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat, drink, and rose up to play. Didn't take God serious. Mm -hmm. Jumped and shout. Mm -hmm. High fived. And had no intents mm -hmm. of changing their life. Mm -hmm. They ate and drank and then rose up to play. Is anybody listening? Yes. Yes. Neither let us commit fornication. And fornication is not just natural, amen, in the bed. You could do a spiritual fornication. Mm -hmm. You can fornicate with the amen, the other realm mm -hmm. that is not of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As some of them committed and fell in one day, three and 20,000 in one day. Because of the fornication. Jesus. Wow. And one day, three and 20,000 fell. I told y'all that God is getting ready to reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Sodom and Gomorrah, glory to God, was about to be destroyed, Abraham began to talk to God and said, if you could find 50, will you spare the city? And God knew that it wasn't going to be 50, but yet he said, if so. Then he began to break it all the way down because Lot was in the city. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Yes. And then when the angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot wanted to take his time. Hello. And the angel said, we ain't got time <laughs> because this city is about to be destroyed. Yes. You got to move so we can destroy this yes. city. Right. And if you don't move, we're going to destroy you in the city. Uh -huh. But because Abram or Abraham prayed on your behalf. Yes. Come that now. Say that you would not go down. Say that. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm not talking about churches just closing. Because they can't pay the rent. Come on now. Come on now. I'm talking about churches closing because the power of God getting ready to step up in there. Yes. 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 Jesus. Said in one day, three. Three and 20,000 failed. Because yes. the cloud was there. Mm -hmm. They ate and drank and rose mm -hmm. up to play. Mm -hmm. The cloud was there. Mm -hmm. You can't play yes. when the cloud is there. Yes. Yes. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. I told y'all. The snakes came. I told you the cobra came. Y'all didn't yeah. believe me. Yeah. I believe you. The cobra came right on with Judas. They were destroyed by serpents. Did y'all see this? Yes. Because they tempted Christ. Christ is the power of God. Mm -hmm. There is no mercy when you tempt the Holy Ghost. That's it. That's it. There is no mercy 
for tempting the Holy Ghost. Y'all better understand. Sitting there talking about something, I don't, I don't believe that I can change. And you talking about the Holy Ghost can't change you. See. There is no mercy. Yeah. There is no mercy when you mess with the Holy Ghost. Y'all, yeah. y'all, okay. That's the power of God. Jesus. I said that's the move of God. There is no mm -hmm. mercy. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody pray death off of you. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. All right now. Go, go, on, go on to mess with him. Hello. Go on to mess with Christ. Christ, the anointed one. The anointed. Yes. Okay, yes. touch not my. Anointed. Okay then. Okay. All right. Neither murmur ye as some, uh, some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Mm. Now all these things happen unto them for example. And they are written for our admon admonish. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm telling you, the cloud is on its way. Jesus. Move with the cloud. Don't tempt them. Don't play with them. Don't act like you do. See, let me help y'all with something. Mm -hmm. I get so sick and tired of folks trying to pretend around people that they got them some Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then when all the lights is off and everybody gone, then the real them that showed up. Yeah. Come on now, Pastor. But I heard the scripture say, tell them I'm going to pull their skirt up. Yeah. All Hello. Right. All right. And everybody going to see when you least expect it because you're trying to be one way in front of everybody and pretend mm -hmm. that you this way when reality, you know you this way. That's it. God said, tell them. And warn them, because when the cloud comes, we want to shout, thank you, Jesus. All right, be careful, because yes. the cloud is coming. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. Okay? Yes, God. With all that shouting Shabbat and saying hallelujah, the cloud is headed your way. Yes, God. And the enemy knew that. But he got the right sister. Because I'm going to do what thus said the Lord. Because in order to get the cloud, I had to stop by. This morning of the weather forecast. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Y'all, y'all not. Yes, yes, I'm with you. Yes. I said in order to get the cloud tonight. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I'm with you, Pastor. Jesus. I, I had to. Yeah. Yeah. He's putting the original design yeah. back into place. Yes. The original purpose. He's putting it back into place. And now that everything is back into place, now here come the cloud. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, don't just shout because you think you got a fresh start. Don't just shout. Don't just shout because you think you got a fresh start. You think you got a fresh start to start lying again? Conniving and scheming? Oh, not this time. The cloud comes with something. It comes with a warning. It comes with a warning, and the warning is 1 Corinthians. Yes. Are you hearing me, chapter 10? That is the warning clause that comes with the cloud. Are you hearing me? Yes. And so for God to start us over, meaning that there's a part in your life that somebody should have helped and did what they were supposed to do. God said, I'm going to give you that time back. And he said, this ain't got nothing to do with the enemy. Amen. This will not be an enemy that will come back. No, this is somebody that God picked and chewed. Come on. So y'all make it. Because he picked Jonah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jonah tried to change the plan. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. And so in order to get the cloud, we had to stop by this morning. Thank you, Father. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Tell your neighbor, ready or not. Ready or not. The cloud is headed your way. Look at your other neighbor, say, ready or not. Ready or not. The cloud is headed your way. Put your hand on yourself and say, self. Ready or not. The cloud. The cloud is headed your way. Headed Clap your, your way. hands and tell the Lord, yes, the cloud Ooh, yes. is headed yes. your way. Move with the cloud. This is the cloud of God. You be blessed until next time. You go with God and God will go with you. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.